name is CEO Ty, and I am the CEO and founder of Educationally Speaking Center for Learning, where we are offering every child a future and hope. Today, we're going to talk about sight words. Sight words, often called high-frequency words, are commonly used words that children are encouraged to memorize by sight so that they can recognize these words in print. One of the most commonly asked questions that I receive in my email or my DM is, Ty, when is it time for me to teach my child sight words? And then how do I teach my child sight words? So the first thing that I want to tell you is, when you're teaching your child sight words, you have to remember that they are sight words. These are words that you're only going to know by sight. The only way to learn these words is by memorizing the words. Now, there are many games and activities that you can use, but you want to make sure that your child is not sounding out the words, but they're actually memorizing the words. Let me give you an example. Here's the word said. If your child saw this word said and they were familiar with the two vowel rule, they would try to sound this word out like this. Said. Said. This is not said, this is said. So your child will have to know when they see this word in a text, the word is said. Let me give you another example. How? If your child saw this word, they would probably apply the short vowel rule and say, ah, w. No, it's not how. This word is how. Now, CEO Ty, when should I start teaching my child sight words? There are a lot of people who have their own professional opinions. As I always tell you guys, do what's best for your house. I started my girls at age two and a half. It worked for us. So in addition to teaching them their short vowels, I also started them on their sight words because when I was reading books with them at night, I would be able to point out the sight words in a text and then they would be able to sound out the words that had short vowels in them. And then they started putting words together and they were able to read complete sentences in the text. That is the goal for a child to be able to identify sight words and be able to decode CVC words. Now, here are some fun ways that you can work with your child. The key to this is understanding your child's learning style. What works for one child won't work for another child. So you really have to get to know your child, get to know their learning style, and figure out what works best for them. So I'm going to show you a couple of games. Again, do what works best with your child. Some children will sit at a desk and just memorize sight words and some kids will be off the wall like this. So you have to make sure that you choose an activity that caters to their learning style. The first thing that you can do to help your child memorize sight words is by using flashcards. Now you can take flashcards anywhere. You can use them in the carpool line when you're dropping your child off. You can use them at the grocery store or you can use them when you're working with your child one-on-one. -on -one. The second way that you can work with your child is by actually creating a game. One of the things that I did with my scholars is I wrote a bunch of sight words on flashcards and I threw them on the floor and I had them run and touch the sight words or either I had them hop on the sight words. This is for students who actually love to be out of their seats and so they are able to run and just touch or jump and have fun. So creating games with sight words is another way for your child to learn their sight words quickly. The third way to teach your child sight words is through music. I actually had a scholar who loved to learn through music. So I popped on some music, I let homegirl jam, and she was able to pick up the sight words and jam and dance and then tell me what the sight word was. What's that? And. Yes. And. And. And what's that? Funny. Yeah, funny, 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 what's that? Blue. Yeah, blue, 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 what's that? Come. Yeah, yeah. go girl. 
as I close out this video, I wanted to make sure that I gave you a resource to use. Please go to sightwords.com. It is an amazing, amazing website for you to use. It has all of the Doge sight word lists broken down into grade levels. So you can actually print off the list on index cards and work with your child at home. As always, if you have any questions, please email me at educatespeak at gmail.com. Visit our website, educationallyspeaking.net, our blog, educationallyspeaking.blog, and make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel, Educationally Speaking Center for Learning. Thank you so much for supporting us. Have a winning day.